What? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to this expedition match from Shadow 3 bringing an expedition match of Zero K between Pear and Ransom Taylor. And I apologize for my mild confusion. I've just started experimenting a bit with virtual audio cables and actual live compressor, which is awesome, but also a little bit awkward to get used to. So, bear with me, but we shall get the game started because just an expedition match, nothing too special, but. See how these players do. So we are on Flooded Valley, which I'm sure all of you are groaning at because it is a water map. And of course, everyone hates water in Zero K, which actually, recently they probably shouldn't because the sea changes have been quite interesting. They have been indeed a sea change. Because I can't resist a terrible pun. But it looks like Pear actually hasn't chosen a factory yet. Ransom Taylor going for Amphib, which is not surprising. Ransom Taylor is... Getting some mechs is first, leading me to believe he's going to go for C since he doesn't want to wait on walking distance. And getting the metal extractors before going for the C factory, just that he doesn't have to walk all the way back. And yes, he is in fact going for that, getting a shipyard. Well, first duck has been put out there. Ransom Taylor is scouting out. He's taking another tech. He may not be aggressive with this, but on this map, you really have to make sure you capture, well, the islands. Because the islands here, that's fair amount of your metal. Other metal, of course, in the water quite a lot of metal in the water, but islands are important to grab, so you want to make sure getting some scouting around. Skeeter as well coming in for pair, that's not at all surprising, and a hunter coming in as well, which probably just because the thing is, the sea change was really that there's a counter structure. Now let's see what he's building. He is building hunters and more hunters. Basically, Skeeters beat hunters, hunters beat snakes, snakes beat most everything else, and that's kind of the counter structure. Now, ducks, of course, being underwater units when in the water, are most readily countered by hunters. However, Skeeters are able to, as you can see, deal with land quite effectively. And I, I realize I'm kind of pointing this out, and for a lot of people this might be familiar, but C isn't that big in 0k right now. Ducks, however, do not have homing torpedoes. So they have a much harder time hitting Skeeters than they would if they had homing torpedoes. So these ducks, basically the best they can do is patrol around, make sure no metal extractors are built. Kind of raid around. I mean, Amphib is something of a cloaked unit type due to the way underwater works. But we're still kind of in the raiding phase of the game. Both players are just checking things out. Granted, on this map, given the size of the map, the raiding phase is a fairly long one. Given the size and the fact that the map is very full of water, you don't really get into the consolidation phase easily. However, ducks are taking advantage of the fact that they are, well, rather, avoiding the disadvantage of being in the water against the hunters. Staying above water instead, the hunter's able to try to hit the ducks with jumping torpedoes, but not quite able to do so. A bit of a bug, actually, but hey, no, it could work. Anyway, the ducks, Ransom Taylor being very smart with his ducks, making sure they aren't fighting the hunters directly in the water. Continuing to build more ducks, getting a couple scallops as well, just for extra support, but scallops... Probably, I mean, the thing is, is that Amphib is effectively all a lab of submarines if the water is there. So they can't easily fight hunters head-to-head. -head. Scallops might have a chance due to range, but I... Yeah, their range is pretty large. Compared to hunters, hunters have... Yeah, hunters have about half the range of scallops. So if scallops can kite, then it's not a problem, but still a bit of an issue. And I'm expecting that Pear is going to go... But I can keep hunters to make sure he has sea control, but he's going to go likely for crusaders, and I think this is in fact a crusader right here. Yes, he's going for crusaders just to make sure he can deal with the amphibs on land. Fortunately, the hunter's out of position. Pair taking full advantage of that to go for a nice little raid. Actually, not just a raid. Full on assault. One thing to bear in mind with ducks is that they can one-shot each other. So you got to be very careful when you're using them. Because if they one-shot each other, that's basically... That's 400 metal, or 150 metal down the drain. It's 400 health down the drain. Yeah, 150 metal down the drain from a friendly fire hit. Now, these ducks didn't come into Pair's commander. Very quickly trying to get rid of his commander. And most of Pair's energy... Actually, most of Pair's economy is here. His energy primarily. Metal, not so much. But energy, yes. Are the ducks going to be able to get him? It looks like... Well, actually... Yes, they will! Pear's commander goes down. Ducks are going with it, but that is definitely worth it. Pear is dead in the water right now. My goodness, I cannot resist the terrible puns. I probably shouldn't mention that, though. Less funny if I do. Anyway, Ransom Taylor in a much better position. And it looks like he is seeking so consolidate a bit. He's sending out some scallops. Looks like he's going to the center of the map. Doesn't look like he's going to try to kill from here on out. He knows he has the advantage. He's going to keep on going with this. I mean, if you're watching during the tournament, you would have heard Flores talk about how 
there's basically a stage in the game where you don't go forward. You just try to, you know you have an advantage, you just build up, you consolidate that, and then you attack when you have a much stronger advantage. And that is clearly what Ransom Taylor is doing, or at least is what Ransom Taylor should be doing, because right now, Pear has a military advantage. Ransom Taylor lost all of his ducks, which really are... I mean, killing units like that is kind of what ducks do, but they aren't, especially against hunters, that useful. So the thing is, is that Pear has a military advantage with respect to the territory. I mean, he has the control of the sea. Ransom Taylor can't easily fight him head-to-head -head in the water, thanks to these hunters, but Ransom Taylor can get all the land without having to worry too much about it, and if the hunters get too close to land, Especially if there are ducks nearby, it's a problem. Anyway, Scallops taking advantage of the range, but the Hunter's taking advantage of, well, higher health. Ransom Taylor's commander helping out, however, and the Scallop needs to be kited. That's the thing. The Scallop needs to move away. Ransom Taylor's commander taking a fair amount of damage, too. It needs to get out of the way. Its attack range is about on par with the Hunter's. Its attack range... Oh, let's check that out. 350 compared to the Hunter's, which is 340, so it's basically the same. Scallops, on the other hand, have a range of 460 with torpedoes. So they can definitely kite the Hunters, they need to. And the Crusader, first one comes up, gets rid of Radar. Not that's a big deal, but it is going to be getting rid of the Metal Extractors, which is a big deal. Crusaders are exactly what Para needs to turn this around. He doesn't have a lot of energy right now, he needs something to build that. He should be getting some Tidal Plants pretty soon, although that's risky. Or getting some Solar Plants, which is much, much, much less risky. But he does have to worry about this, and the thing is, this is what I mean by... Ransom Taylor does have kind of a cloakiness to him. The fact that he's playing Amphib. But Para, on the other hand, like I said, he's... He's kind of making sure Ransom Taylor can't get away with this too easily. Ransom Taylor has to stay on the shore, on the land. Thankfully for him, though, he is on in a very nice spot to get rid of the Hunters. The Hunters were very close to shore. That... Pear was waiting for Ransom Taylor to move his scallop into the water, but that was not going to happen. More Metal Extractors for Pair, and he does actually start getting some energy. Wind picks up, and he is getting more energy. He's getting Tidal Generators as well. This is far more useful. He has to be careful with this. Might want to set up a Torpedo Launcher or two around here to make sure that no Amphibs get close. But this is the right idea. Provided he is able to defend it. And with Hunters around, yeah, he should be able to. Unfortunately, the Crusader goes down. For, unfortunately for Pair, the Crusader goes down. Ransom Taylor, he is, like I said, he is consolidated. He wants to make sure he has his side. Make sure that Pair isn't encroaching too much, and the thing is, Pear has kind of lost the military advantage he had. And, I mean, it wasn't a military advantage for cost, right here it looked like a disadvantage, but it was a military advantage in the sense that he had water control, and now he doesn't. Ransom Taylor probably shouldn't attack quite yet, but what does he have? He's getting a caretaker here. Not sure why he's getting it there, possibly for repair. It's too far away to help out with the factory, but for repair or for a sea factory, if there's a switch going on, that would help a lot. However, Ransom Taylor right now, he doesn't know it. He's not sure. It might be comedy he can go in, so he's not going to. He could, but he doesn't know it, so I can't blame him for this. Make sure to have some scallops around here, just in case some ships come along from the looks of it. Make sure that nothing tries to harass the metal extractor or attack from behind, because that would be problematic. So keep some scallops. Actually, no, never mind. That's just a bad rally. He will, if he wants to actually defend like this, he will want to pull his scallops along the side a bit more. He does have radar. He does not have sonar, in fact. Should evaluate their vision. So right now, Ransom Taylor has a lot of radar coverage. Radar coverage of everything that Pear is up to. Pear, on the other hand, he has... What does he have? Sonar coverage of a decent amount. Unfortunately, this like sonar is actually being shown easily. He does have radar coverage and sonar coverage of effectively his half of the map. Not great, not terrible, but not great. He needs to work on that because he doesn't know what's happening. And underwater, you need sonar. He's also reclaiming and just making sure to get himself up again. And actually, Pear is, with the title generators, at an economic advantage right now. Ransom Taylor looks like he's moving his scallops up, possibly going for a bit more of an assault. Might want to raid, get rid of this worker here. He should be aware of it. Given that Para does have radar here, he should be aware that there's stuff that can be taken out. He's going to be very acutely aware of a Crusader right now as it fires in, gets rid of one of these urchins. And actually, I'm not sure why the urchin's over on here. I don't think he can... I, I'd have to double check. I'm not entirely sure they can fire from land into water. Wouldn't surprise me if it could. Scallop's going in and looks like they're just going to go for an attack. Possibly a raid. Pair, uh, Ransom Taylor doesn't know this, but he could win from here. 
He could attack Mir and win, and it looks like he might be doing exactly that. There's a Hunter and an Urchin to try to defend, so there was an Urchin made. Not quite close enough, but even then, the Hunter is taking a great deal of damage. There's enough Scalps just overwhelm this. And I think this is game. There's a Hunter coming up in construction, but it's not going to be built fast enough. Ten seconds. By the time that's done, the factory's probably going to be knocked down. Well, maybe not quite, because... Well, no, you know what? No, Rand Stiller is going to fire at the factory quickly enough. He is firing at everything else, getting rid of the economy first, but that Hunter actually is up. It is going to be dealing a fair amount of damage, too, but that's the only thing that can damage these Scallops, and... Now the Scallops on land. Hunters have no threat. The Crusader is, but it's not anymore when it's dead. So Ransom Taylor takes this game. Exhibition match, mind you, so no real consequence. But still, nicely done, Ransom Taylor. And Para throws in the towel. So if you enjoyed that, and I will have another game shortly that won't be on water if that annoyed you, the fact that this is on water. Though, admittedly, that was a really good water game. Nice show of how terrain control works with water as well as without or rather, on land as well as on water. So stay tuned.